going on everybody it's rev welcome back to the channel and welcome back to dauntless in today's video we're going to go ahead and unlock this very last one percent power bonus uh 10 axe prestiges and get all that wrapped up additionally as you can see in the top right corner i am a broke bitch <laughs> I'm a broke slayer, so I'm going to go ahead and get my money up, get my prestige up, and we're going to go ahead and uh, continue on with the Chain Blades legendary crafting once I get the Rams to do so. So this is sort of a filler episode, but I uh, hope you enjoy it. Wouldn't be much of a video without a build, so we're going to go ahead and go over that really quick. We're using Malkarian. Malkarian is very strong for uh, reforging in general and just getting around the map very quickly. I enjoy using it. On top of that, we have Recycle, Overpower, Grim Onslaught, Overcharged Cylinder, Savit's Cleaver. Uh, a lot of stuff that I've already used in other videos. We're going to be using Revenant. I haven't used Revenant in a while. I've been on a Discipline spree, so we're going to go ahead and use that just to mix it up. Scarn's Defiance, Staple. This thing pretty much never leaves my Lantern slots. Uh, we got Reuse. Uh, overpower in the Shroud Helmet. We have Light's Virtue, Reuse uh, in there. And we have Predator uh, for the plus six Predator on that one piece. Pulse and Assassin's Frenzy on, I believe, Savit's Boots. And we're using uh, Tonics. I don't know how much I'm going to be using them, but let's go ahead and hop into the Hunting Grounds. I am starting at level eight. And I had a little bit of bank DXP from just playing with friends and having some fun offline but we're gonna go to fortune's folly just because uh all these behemoths are pretty much terra and we're gonna go cook them with some shock weaponry uh, really quickly the best way to level up is doing bounties and slaying alongside of it you know in a decent uh, power level thing i just want to bring attention to that because the difference between slaying without bounties and slaying with bounties is astronomical so be sure you're checking those frequently if you're trying to level up as quickly as possible get that account up there the worst part about starting a new hunting ground on the axe is getting to level four or level three depending on what mod you're using but particularly on this map i don't find it too difficult and that's because caravac exists <laughs> I officially have all the materials for my next legendary set, like uh, all the chain blades and such. I just need to craft them and create the videos and uh, get everything out there. But uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and just let you this will be kind of like the early bird special. Ow, I just got destroyed. Uh, I want to uh, throw up the poll for the next legendary weapon. Last time, the Warpike was like very close to the Chain Blades, so I assume it's going to be Warpike next, but I'm going to put all the weapons up, or at least all the weapons. I think now uh, that YouTube, or like YouTube only allows, YouTube only allows a certain amount of options on the polls in the community tab so i couldn't put all the weapons and like get an accurate depiction but i think for the most part i only have three left and i think that's the cap on on those so should be able to get the rest of the weapons up there repeaters aether strikers war pike i believe that's it i think that's it i could be wrong but either way it will be almost all of the weapons and so oh hammer will be on there too never mind um so one of them might have to sit out and it's probably going to either be repeaters or hammer but i think repeaters are probably more popular than the hammer so uh we'll have to uh see what goes on there it, maybe four maybe four is i i don't know i'm i'm drawing a blank anyway catch these hands care back all right we got to level 10 i'm gonna go ahead and see what's going on with some of these other do undervolt i think i'm gonna get a few more levels here speed on over to pangar for some reason my character just wasn't drawing their weapon easiest interrupt of my life But I created a uh, actually another poll on the community tab that was like, hey, do you guys enjoy uh, Monster Hunter? Or like, would you be interested in watching a Monster Hunter World playthrough? And um, Monster Hunter World is to have like a little bit of a renaissance, which is very, very cool. I 
honestly i didn't get as much time in on monster hunter world as i would have liked and so going back and playing it sounds very appealing to me um i wouldn't stop playing dauntless entirely it would just be kind of like a you know i do like one one episode a week you know have it be like a very slow burn because i'm still playing monster hunter now i'm still playing uh and getting into monster hunter world and doing a little playthrough and probably using like my vtubing avatar and stuff and just uh, i want to start like slowly incorporating my my vtubing stuff and turning this channel into a proper like vtubing channel also just want to finish my 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 dauntless stuff as well and keep it consistent and not have it be too too jarring so uh doing the dauntless stuff as like a faceless sort of uh deal has been uh it's nice it's relaxing you know um that's something that i enjoy about playing dauntless is like overall you know game isn't super taxing um at least i don't really do the the content that uh is very taxing and draining um and so i uh really like to just kind of hang out on this game and not have to worry about too much didn't hit the head there which is unlucky but this cool shot is going to get destroyed yeah maybe we migrate now migrate to a new new hunting ground let's see let's turn in what we have pardon the interruption oh we have to do chopper gang right and we'll go ahead and do we already have one for blaze behemoths so if we go for some blaze behemoths uh once we get to actually maybe we do we do something a little bit more risque and just go to hades reach i think that's actually feasible i'm gonna go ahead and do that we'll go ahead and skip and just go straight to the uh hades reach oh we have the event. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and do the event first. I feel like we've been getting uh, like pretty fast kills. Like everything's been going very smoothly thus far. To be expected since we're still really early in the prestige, but. I forgot that this event is just a bunch of Karabaks. I think next next wave is either Razor Wing alone or it's Razor Wing and another normal Karabax. So it's three Karabax and a Razor Wing or just two uh, Karabax and then a Razor Wing. So, I mean, this is like <laughs> the, probably the quickest event in the game. I mean, we take those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's so funny to me. Okay. Fastest four behemoth kills you'll ever get right here. Okay, it's dead. Did they change its death animation? Wait, since when? Get a little bit damage down range. I think I just drew a bounty to kill four behemoths with a shock weapon yeah so that was an easy bounty <laughs> all right well i think we're good to move on to hades reach now and we're here because we need blaze behemoths so i'm gonna go ahead and honor that and go ahead and just keep going for uh the hellion hellion is the uh sort of like the main behemoth of this island like the thing is is uh when you look at these like hunting ground things so up here is nezaga uh there's pangar shrike charog those are the main uh behemoths of that island and they they are never not on the island um they're always on the island even after you uh kill them so if i kill this hellion another one will spawn in its place it will just be in a different location i'm so bad at using my legendary ability i don't know why well, I do know why, but <laughs> I just don't want to say it out loud. The worst part. Ow, I did a lot. The worst part about playing the axe is leveling it up every time. It's hard to get momentum, you know, because you don't have the attack speed 
you know you don't have the damage to break stuff quickly there we go that's huge i'm gonna go ahead and try to break the tail and the reason for that is when you break hellion's tail you get those little molten hearts that come out i should probably that that leg is super weak when you see that cross um so if i go like this or if i go like this okay that works and now that i've done that i can do this this leg needs to break dude oh it already broke since when broke the face too huh i'm getting some i'm either getting some weird visual glitches or something's going on I'm not sure so now that i've killed hellion uh just kind of looking up at the top of the screen be like oh hellion spawned again and so you can just go and kill it again so we'll go ahead and kill this one and then i'll probably go try and fight that Embermane because uh i like to keep it i like to keep the variety going even though Hellion is pretty, pretty easy without... When it's not Scorched Stone Hellion, it's pretty easy. Yeah. There we go. Got my dodge on. This is why I like Evasive Fury is because, like, when you're super weak like this, or, like, um, weak isn't the word. I guess, like, when you're outscaled like this... Breaking stuff gets kind of hard. I'm going to go for the arm. Because that's what I didn't break last time. There we go. I broke something there. I'm pretty sure it was the arm. I'm going to get to level 3 here. leg a lot easier that time Pick the tail again great catch broke the face missed the molten heart like five times in a row you'd love to see it we are level four now so now we're cooking i just need to break this other leg in this arm so i'm gonna break the leg then go for the arm and hopefully it doesn't die. It died. <laughs> okay, it's pretty hard to break everything off of a off of a Hellion because the uh, T Rex arms are kind of hard to hit. Let's try this level 18 Ember Maid for funsies. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and draft a new one. It sucks because it's silver, but I can go ahead and upgrade, do some staggering genius. While you wield the axe, get three interrupts. Oh my God, that was a jump scare, dude. Okay, well, you won't leave me alone, so. If you want to get destroyed, I will oblige. One interrupt. One, one interrupt. Ah, ah, ah. I greeted for damage. As an axe player should. It's almost never worth the greed for damage. You should probably not do that. Bruh. No idea how I got stagger damage there. I thought I hit the tail, but you know, I guess we hit the back leg. And we take those. Fine, give me one more interrupt, dude. Easy. Simply too easy, my guy. Bonk. Okay, level 18, more like level freaking one, dude. Case in point, though. I mean, I have three golds here on the board. I had a silver before that I uh, had to get rid of, but, um, you know, I, I obviously upgraded these and used some extra bounty tokens. But, I mean, this is, you know, 21,000, or... <laughs> but this is 2,100 extra EXP 
on top of the 250, right? Just the golds are 2100. So it's like that's over a level on my current at my current score. So it's like I have a level in the in the in the pipe that I know is coming and you know, I'm just doing my normal farming stuff and I this that the and those were not the only bounties I've completed thus far. And so I've been filming this video for roughly, you know, maybe like 20 minutes. Uh, so you you can see how, you know, your playtime is drastically reduced or like your time spent at lower levels is drastically reduced when you're uh, definitely popping those bounties. So it's pretty important. Um, be sure to keep an eye on those because you'll level up a lot faster and it makes the power power surging process is so much better because you, you get some bounty tokens every single day and then you also can get some from the, uh, the little vault thing in Ramsgate or like you can get some keys, which the keys give you uh, have a chance at some, some bounty tokens. I'm sure someone's done the math on like how many you get uh, per her key and all that stuff but uh i have not so i don't really know oh that was a double break i'm gonna go ahead and get this attack speed but you do there are ways to get some like free to play bounty tokens like every single day and everybody should be doing that that's like a huge huge benefit but i imagine most people are just kind of like must slay <laughs> must hunting ground must escalation at least I hope you're doing escalation. Escalation's like the best part of this game. All I can do is encourage people to do escalation. Get those legendary weapons, get your overpowered builds going. You don't even really need legendary weapons to do a ton of damage. But uh it definitely helps. Just gives you more fun toys to play with, you know? Now it feels like we're cooking a little bit. I might just skip to 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 Hades Reach more often, honestly. Along to this thing spawns. Oh, it's already ready. Perfect. We love that. Go ahead and use this really quick. Didn't catch it. Unlucky. I lost my level. Oh, I lost my charge, dude. It's the worst. I'm having significantly less fun at my own stupidity. Got your dumbass, dude. Sit still. There we go. Level three. Got some marks and all that good stuff. Can I have my axe back, please? Thank you. Man. Always takes forever to kill that thing. I do not enjoy it. It's honestly not as bad as it used to be, at least. Or maybe I've just gotten more... <laughs> maybe I got desensitized to it or something. But at least now I get to have fun, right? This is what fun looks like. I'm just slapping up all the bombers. Dude. Free EXP. It's like a pinata, dude. It's like a pinata. Just kill the Charog here because it's the easy target. Oh, got the double hit there, but I didn't get the catch, but that's okay. We take the damage. Just making sure Hellion's not going to do anything bogus. I forgot. Forgot it burrowed underground. I have object permanence, dude. I have trouble with the uh, object permanence. Didn't see the Hellion, so just got destroyed. I rolled though. Dude, leave me alone. Oof. Double hit again. Nice. Clean, clean. This seems to be my play style. I've moments of clarity where things are just perfectly lined up and it looks like I know what I'm doing, but. <laughs> Delicious. Broken face. 
that leg's already broken oh it's not broken okay so there's just some sort of like visual bug i think with them. hellion legs kind of got a little visual bug going on right now so it seems it's molten don't burn to death dodge that break the leg come over here pop the revenant get the stagger and it should be dead yeah easy 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 and now we reap the benefits get rid of that get rid of that uh slay with a mm, mm, mm. eight interrupts dodge through four projectile attacks uh i guess i could just get the interrupts on the ember main when it spawns if it spawns again Or shock beam it's go ahead and do an upgrade here on the staggering genius uh i just should probably clarify honestly it's not really worth upgrading your bounties i'm just doing it like for the it's it, in in terms of value i don't think it's really worth upgrading your bounties but this just makes it so the video doesn't run for three hours so that's kind of why you're you're kind of paying a little bit more to get the uh the progress now which in my opinion is not worth it if you're just kind of like you know playing the game and not creating a video but uh i should uh i should definitely let people know that let's take a little break here and fight some valamir you know some good old-fashioned very fun and engaging gameplay versus the valamir right I feel like I am pumping. Actually, Valamir has an interrupt, so this uh, this actually kind of works out for me. I just need to roll the enrage. I'm actually just gonna let it do its thing. Oh, I don't think that counts. That didn't count. I was too soon. Yeah, it's gonna disappear and re-enrage that's on me valamir my bad dude that's all right i'll roll the enrage again there there good buddy okay now you're interruptible there we go there we go thanks valamir i just imagine like talking to someone like yo what do you do for a living Revy? it's like oh yeah i talk I talk to literal robots, dude. I talk to literal robots on the internet. <laughs> Does anybody else talk to me? I mean, I, I already know. I already know the answer. I know. Like, I always, always got to talk that good shit to, <laughs> to actual robots. Like, the. I always talk to bosses. Like, dude, Elden Ring. Even, like, even, like, really hard platformers. Like, I remember the first time I streamed Celeste, I was talking to myself. I was like going insane and trying to do some of the like very end uh, jumping puzzles in that game. It was, uh, it was an experience. Celeste is a lot of fun though. I really enjoy that game. That game has uh, some of the best platforming I've ever played, period, still to this day. A lot of good games out actually you know 2023 kind of sucked as a year but for gaming it was great and i think it's gonna be even better in 2024 there's a lot of the games that i'm really excited for i've expressed to those games already so i'm not i'll i'll, I'll humor you but and so i'll save you uh so i'll save you the uh the spiel again but i'm very excited for 2024 and I can only hope that a new Monster Hunter game is going to be coming out on top of it. Like, I'm I'm really hoping for, like, a new Monster Hunter game. That'd be very, very fun. I've played the crap out of Rise, so I'm ready for a new one. I think I have almost, like, 800 hours in Rise. I think in that game, so Monster Hunter has this, like, trophy system where, like, you have you have like a chance for the uh like the smallest and largest versions of the of the monster to spawn 
and it's like that's like the big achievement that's like the crown hunting is what they call it because it's yeah they indicate they're indicated by crowns um and for the longest time i was doing my like crown hunting on stream and i was making really good progress and it, i was just wrapping it up uh I only had like apex monsters left and then like sunbreak was about to launch and so I didn't I, right when I was about to finish like the uh the rise achievement the base rise achievement the expansion came out and then it added like a whole bunch of other monsters I think the sunbreak added like 20 monsters now or something I don't even remember it's probably more than that maybe but uh so now I have to get the crowns for those as well and so it's just like oh man and so I played a lot of it and I I still am very very close but like that's like the big achievement to get like the 100 percent for rise in any monster hunter game it's the same for world too but I feel like achievements have kind of like lost their sort of like uh their splendor with uh with like mods at least on pc like if you do it on on console it's a little bit different because you can't really mod and or do anything like that but yeah there's definitely monster hunter mods that just like oh yeah 100 crown spawns and like you know weapons like modded weapons that deal like 60 000 damage a hit and it's just i don't know it's just like why do that you know why would you do that uh i mean i understand the achievements right like just Saves a lot of time. Like I said, I have almost like a thousand hours, like, you know, rounding up, uh, <laughs> rounding up very generously, uh, you know, 800 hours, something like that. And uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of time. Like it's a big time investment, but I obviously do this for like, you know, trying to make this my main source of income. So eventually uh, when we get there, it's a big time investment but that's the good thing about those games is like you know at least for me it's like you don't really get bored there's a lot of activities to do and it's something that you chip away at at a very you know over the years it's not something that it's just like oh man i gotta grind this out it's like flexing your monster hunter stuff is just like it's more of a for you thing rather than for an everybody else thing same goes for dauntless I'm surprised it didn't die there. There we go. I guess I missed a couple of the revenants, but... Oh, we got a care back? That should be pretty quick. Go ahead and claim some more bounties. Staggering genius, always good. Broken promises, a lot of good ones here. This has been a uh, a chill time, actually. I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, it's nice to be able to just like, I don't know, when I'm farming prestiges, I just kind of like zone out and do my own thing. I guess we'll get another interrupt on, uh... I guess we'll get another interrupt on Valamir. I didn't mean to go over here. I meant to go fight Hellion, but. Elmir has a lot of yet, uh, not EXP, a lot of HP. It's kind of interesting. Like, I mean, it makes sense that, you know, it, it, it's huge. Like, you know, <laughs> like Valamir is huge and doesn't really attack very often. But like when compared to like Karabak, right? Like Karabak would have already been dead. Meanwhile, Valamir is only half dead. So I always find that uh, kind of interesting. One thing I really wish that they did with Valamir is put it, put it in its own arena um, and made it more of like a uh, more of like a kind of like how they did the original Chronovore, like put it in its own little uh, like place on. I forget what the hunting ground is called, but it's the one near the end, the radiant one near the end. Uh, where you like summon it with the with the cubes or whatever uh, It would be cool if you like use those cubes and then it like teleported you into like a different like I don't know like a weird like space like dimension sort of thing Dormammu's freaking zone. I forget what it's called if it if the fight was its own like little puzzle I think that, that would be like more more fun. I think dauntless would benefit from more kind of like 
tailored encounters rather than just kind of like doing the, the hunting grounds and that's what i'm kind of hoping that they do with the pursuits in the future like making pursuits a more tailored sort of thing where it's like you just go into the arena and go fight the thing you know similar to trials but a little bit more uh i guess effort i guess like you know not modifiers but like make the behemoths that are in there actually tough and have something new something fresh um i think that that would be a wise sort of way to do it that's something that i've wanted in the game for a while like honestly it should have been something that like i don't know i i suggested very like a few things in uh in in that regard like for the valentine's day like doing like a big like a giant gruck gruck that um which is like the little pigs right the little pig fauna like doing a behemoth that's just a giant version of that and then it has its own like little attacks and it looks like cupid or something like and it has like a, a unique arena um whatever that may be but uh yeah i mean there's just like so many different things that they could do for, as just kind of like i don't know i i hate comparing things to wow but like wow had uh like their halloween events um i just know a lot of people play wow so it's easier to kind of like use that as an example because the likelihood that you know what i'm talking about is high but like um i'm talking like uh those dungeon finder things where like you go fight the the headless uh horseman or something right like those like one-off encounters that they did for their own uh valentine's day halloween all that sort of stuff like having something like that that you just go and and fight and then you leave and then you can either queue it up again or and you get some cool cosmetics and there's some like more rare stuff in there i think that that would be cool i didn't know that normal quill shot could spawn here i wonder if that's a bug it should have been right like it should have been flameborn am i incorrect maybe it's oh it's because of the aether surge that's on me i thought i was done with the event it just goes to show how much uh time or how much i'm paying attention Those guys out of the way. Let's see what spawns. Oh, Shy Charog. Not bad. It's actually good for me because I'm using Malcaria. Both of these uh, behemoths are also very long for Revenant, so I couldn't ask for, honestly, like a better setup. Lots of rolling right now. Okay, Koshai went to Narnia for no reason. I tried. I tried so hard, dude. I tried so hard. Come on, Koshai. Give me my stamina back. Oh, interrupt. I don't know if that counts. I think it was a stagger, not an interrupt. I didn't get the animation, so I just assume that I don't get it there. But maybe you do. I don't know. I don't know if they ever updated that. Pretty sure it counts as a stagger, though. Go ahead and grab some more bounties hands off if you have the axe you'll never know now we're at the point where 
We gotta kind of decide what we want to do. Blazeworks are level 21 to 24. I'm level 19. All right, sorry, I'm level 16. I think I'm still like, you know, two levels is fine. Probably just be grinding out here for a little bit. I find myself falling asleep at the wheel here, so I'm going to go ahead and mix up my gameplay. And we're going to go ahead and just chuck it on over to the Blazeworks. Maybe that'll wake me up. <laughs> Maybe getting one shot by Bloodshot Shroud will, uh, you know, wake me up a little bit. We've gotten a fair amount of rams now that I've, uh, I mean, I guess rams aren't super hard to come by these days, but um, between like just doing all the events and just kind of rolling through, we've been playing for roughly an hour now. Roughly. Um, a little bit under an hour, but uh, we've managed to make quite a bit, right? Like if I was focusing on the chest, considering I'm not like just hard, hard grinding rams, right? feel like you know the game gives you a fair amount of rams just for kind of doing whatever which is nice as long as you're doing the hunting grounds and doing the events i imagine you get a fair amount of uh rams so that's good i can <clears throat> i could easily just kind of like stop right now but uh, i mean we're just so close so might as well finish it out and go ahead and try and get some more axe levels i'm gonna actually start using tonics here um I was just like, man, being level 16 is probably going to suck here now that I'm thinking about it, but maybe with some tonics, it kind of puts me up to, up to snuff and come here. There we go. Perfect. Some axe charge. That is so not optimal. Wasn't expecting to KO it, but. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Did they make it so, uh, maybe I just had enough shield, but did they make it so resolve gives you, re uh, reduced damage taken? That's my second KO, and it's only a quarter dead. <laughs> there we go, got the level up, got the crit onslaught. I'm trying to be more wary of my, my pulse when... When, uh... Watch my who's it's ready, Grim Onslaught's ready. Can I get this? I can, nice. Kind of cooking this thing, all things considered. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. Do this. Big. Should probably be using revenants. Not even level four. I feel like we're doing well. Nice. Ah, uh, no stam. gonna heal just yet. Revenant's doing its thing. Alright, now I'll take some time to heal. Unlucky that my uh, Savit UE just kind of did nothing there. I did that. no damage. Damn, I was hoping for the, uh, the turnaround interrupt there. Still traded. Which means I can't really do anything with my um I'ma just throw this. There we go. It should be dead here.
Copium, dude. Kill them with the lantern. Let's go. Pretty clean. Pretty clean. I didn't actually see how much EXP I gave, but... We interrupted a lot. Got some EXP there from the bounty. Slay four behemoths with a shock weapon. Should be doable. Should be doable. Let's see. Is there another terror behemoth popping up? Perfect. We love Razor Wing Carabag. And we're level four. Should be... Now that we're level four, we should be cooking. And now we're going to head on over to this. This is what's good about the Blazeworks. I think I already said this, but maybe not. Uh, this is what's good about the Blazeworks and using Malkarian is uh, you have Terra Behemoths here. And I think ultimately that's kind of like, especially when you're doing what I'm doing where you're here at level 16, definitely want that elemental affinity. this if I break the head here that's fat it's the it's the last strike three four grim onslaught got the shock gonna go ahead and go for the tail Not a lot of part damage there, unfortunately. Oh my goodness, that was so much slower than I was expecting. My onslaught was a lot slower than I was expecting. I don't have the most attack speed here, but I guess it doesn't matter because I'm just better. Three, four, from onslaught. Catch the axe. Revenant. Miss like all the damage. Broke the tail, so it doesn't matter. Damn, this thing's almost dead already. Let's go. Much better than the coach I kill. I guess that kinda happens when the axe is level four the whole time. There we go. Level 17, baby. Lucky and they're doing another care back. That was interesting. There we go. Didn't let him get me that time. Kind of awkward. Kind of awkward placements. Scarebacks are helping. Scarebacks are definitely helping speed up the process. 400 per kill. Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll try... Oh, got some more bounties to take care of. How much do they give here? Eight? These little, little snails give it eight. I don't know why it told me I'm level 17 now. Okay, we got uh, a toxic event or a uh, nature event, which is great. I'm gonna go and do that. We'll participate. Can't believe it's been 15 minutes already. Or is it every 15 minutes? I, maybe it's every 10 minutes. I don't know. I don't know how long the events spawn now. Seems like they're making some changes, like some some changes that I just am haven't been aware of since the last time I played. Uh, we'll go ahead and do Raging Bullseye. That sounds like something I can actually do. And then we'll go ahead and do a Light Em Up. Uh, we'll do Raging Confuse, actually. Do that. 
Shouldn't be that bad. And start clearing some of these. Even though they deal damage to behemoths, it's more likely they deal damage to me. Mess me up a little bit. Heroic Charog. All right, Charog, let's go, dude. Ow. <laughs> Not the best start. Still not the best start. Oh, they have thick hide too, dude. Take me, take me out. It's not going to be like last time I did this and give me double shadow drask, right? I can only hope, dude. Okay, so we just broke the face. Dang it. Got some of its stagger back when it enraged. So I'm... Uh. Go ahead and hit this one more time. Crit the pole or crit with pulse. Off this bad boy. Get some big damage. Attacking the broken part because thick hide is very fun and we really love not having attack speed at all. probably go for the tail and get the break so I can get some attack speed that is my uh that is my current plan right now ow fire hot fire hot fire hot fire hot fire hot no stamina can't get rid of it dude what a game, dude. What a game. All right. Still going to cut this tail, I think. Please. Is it resetting? Nah, it ain't resetting. It ain't doing any of it. Man, I'm dying more to the fire and the poison than I am to the actual behemoth attacks. <laughs> Just because they do so much damage and they hit instantaneously. No, dude. Not like this. Maybe I... Nah, nah. I'm, I'm not going to say that. I was going to say, maybe I just don't do this event because they kind of ass. But... It wasn't the thick hide that killed me here. Ow. Dude. There ain't no way. Please stop turning, dude. Please stop randomly turning. There we go. Killed its dumbass. All right. Uh, turn that in. Wait for the next spawn, whatever that may be. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this. Staggering genius. Another Charog. Okay, let me get let me get suited up here, dude. First things first, go over here, chuck this, crit for about four thousand. Not bad.
didn't get afflicted by poison there, which is nice. Nice touch. I was scared to get hit by that slam, but I don't think the hitbox is still broken. Would love to use my revenant, but I just can't get into position. There we go. Nine K, not bad. Not bad, all things considered. So hitbox still is bugged. What hit me? Oh wait, no. Revenant just was delayed, I think. I was hoping for that. If I can get the KO now, that would be awesome. I can get the break for some extra attack speed, that would also be awesome. I will say that this has been a much cleaner char rock. Sometimes you just have to shut up and play the game. <laughs> at least that's that's me at least. Okay, in for a shock. Nice. Another bounty down. Okay, I guess we're just fighting char rock, dude. I mean, I guess. I guess we're just fighting Charogs. Another one, dude. No way. I, it's better than Shadow Touch Drask. I, I will say that. I will say that. I don't think it gets much worse. That Behemoth has so much HP for, like, no reason. At least in this event. Fire. Oh, where where is the fire? Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Where's the fire, dude? How did I die there? I want to know. Phoenix Labs, tell me. Tell me. Do you see any fire on the ground? I don't. We didn't start the fire. Oh, wait. I'm going to get DMC'd. Another KO. I love that Revenant's orbs just like come come to you. You don't have to do anything. Damn. Pop some potions here. That thing is a lot faster than I thought. Nice. Navigate here for the tail. Oh no. Oh no, dude. Oh no, dude. Oh my god. I just I just can't, dude. Can't. Three char rogs in a row. Two, maybe. Three. Not the wave. Especially if they get into aether form. 
It ain't the wave, dude. It ain't the wave. This event ain't it. I'm going through pain. Every time I come here, I always go through pain. I definitely pressed spacebar, but nothing happened. Likely story ready. I hate it here, dude. Pick me up. It's half dead. It's half dead. We're almost there. Just gotta, just gotta muscle through it. Okay, time to pump. No, dude. No. Okay. Am I on fire after this? No, I'm not. Okay, perfect. We love that. I, have, I don't have enough stamina to get rid of this fire, dude. And we got him. All right. That was a, uh, that was misery incarnate, but we got staggering genius finish and that should level us up to 19 maybe about one or two more kills and i'll be able to uh be level 20 and go get that reforge we're so close dude dude is it just charog is it just charog city dude is it just uh, we only fight charogs now is <laughs> is it just charog central dude is it just charog central take me out Do this. Yeah. I'm playing the game. I'm kind of gaming. Mild mild gaming right now. Now that I'm level 19, I'm able to deal some thieves. It's already half dead. That's great. We love that. Give me this KO. Yup. Yeah. Yup, yeah, yup, yeah, yup, yeah. yup. Do this. Throw this. 10k? Huge. Pop that. Break the tail for no reason. Throw my UE into Narnia. Do nothing. Okay. Remember when I said it was gaming? Or there was some mild gaming going on? It was good for the first half. But uh, now it needs work. At least the kills are coming a lot faster. At least they're coming a lot faster. Maybe we can get a new Terra Behemoth now. <laughs> nice. We got Kosha. Perfect. We love that. Get some damage on the tail. Miss that, unfortunately. Huge. Oh, I was so lucky. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what next weapon would be like most beneficial for me. Like, I think Aether Stri like Aether Strikers obviously would be good because it has attack speed. Uh, repeaters for like if I wanted to get into the uh, that Omni Cell shenanigans, getting some move speed is obviously good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, Warpike's pretty easy. Wounding is kind of like whatever, but... Or the extra wounding. I'm talking about, like, the, the Hunters or the, uh, Slayers. Slayers thingy. I'm gonna just chuck this and pray. 
Are you dead? Yes, you are. Okay, dude. One more. Or... No, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. That was the last one. Yeah, I don't know which uh, Slayer's Path thing would be best for me, but it's up to you guys ultimately anyway. I do want to uh, reiterate, we're going to be heading back to Ramsgate. And be sure to vote on your favorite thing on the uh, or your favorite weapon or the weapon you want to see next after the chain blades for the legendary weapons. I was thinking about it a bit more and I think actually maybe doing like another Dauntless playthrough for like beginner builds and all that stuff is probably in order. Like I think that that would be wise. That way just new players can follow along with that full playthrough and I'll do like builds and stuff along. It won't just be a playthrough, it'll be more like just kind of like going through the game and from start to finish and like giving all of those individual hints as they as they come along. I feel like that will be a better way to do this. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this reforged. This is what we came here for. It took uh, quite some time. Um, let's see, we're currently at like an hour and a half, which is kind of like pretty average for me. When I'm doing stuff like this, hour and a half to reforge. We started at like level eight, pretty slow. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, um, but we get 1% extra damage at the end of the tunnel. We've emerged, we finished, and where I had less than a thousand rams, I now have 50,000. So I am, uh, I am thoroughly pleased. And now we can, uh, go ahead and mosey on over and start working on all our legendary weapons again. So. That was a nice little boost. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a nice little filler episode, fun little dauntless gameplay uh, sort of video, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for watching this content. Thank you for watching my content in general, and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Peace out. Have a good one.